Hey guys, what is going on? My name's Tyler McNabb, and this is my YFZ450R. We got the TRX90 over here, and we're out here at MWXC round number eight, the Sandstone in Bowling Green, Indiana. No, not Kentucky. Uh, that's what a lot of people think. Small town of Bowling Green, Indiana. I would, don't even know if I'd consider it a town. It's a very tiny place. But anyway, out here, MWXC round eight. It's actually already Saturday. Um, yesterday, we got in, uh, set up for camping and everything, and it was extremely hot. It was like 97 degrees yesterday, humidity was high, and so honestly, I kind of forgot about doing my intro and everything, because me and dad got out here, we got set up, and then we immediately got in the shade, turned the AC on in the camper, had the fan going outside while we were sitting outside, and uh, we didn't move out from underneath it till later in the evening, because it was burning up out here. It was mighty warm as you can see uh by the skies around us it's a little bit different today so actually currently right now it's pretty nice it's like uh 70s i'd say somewhere in there and the high today is not 97 it is 80 degrees which is super nice um so uh it rained a, a good little bit last night and uh, it's rained a little bit this morning and there it's there's kind of on off chances until about noon today so uh, hopefully we'll get enough rain that it'll kind of keep the dust down. Um, so we shall see what happens. Um, but yeah, it's been super, super dry around here. So um, yeah, I've been uh, wanting some mud. Uh, it hasn't been very uh, wet around here at all. So um, I've been looking for a muddy race. It's not gonna be muddy today, but hopefully uh, it's rained just enough. Keep the dust down and uh, make it a little bit slick and fun. So uh, with that, I need to go out. I think Pee Wee has already started. So I need to go out and start getting some highlights and that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, well we are all suited up in, you guessed it, some brand new 2025 fly racing gear. So 
we got the 2025 limited edition light gear on today looking super good we got our alpine star boots our atlas air neck brace our uswe uh hydration pack and we're about ready to go quad is prepped looking good as ever ready to go and thanks to all the rain we barely have any dust there's a tad bit of dust starting to kick up in the field but overall it's looking pretty good so uh we're all suited up we're getting ready to uh do our group prayer before we head up to the line and then uh after that we'll see you up there so see you up there
Okay guys, well, we made it home and uh, unfortunately it was not quite the day we were looking for uh, at the racetrack this week. So, um, got up to the start line, was feeling good, weather was decent, um, we wasn't super hot uh, like we thought it was going to be, uh, so that's really good. And then, um, yeah, got us a good start, um, was second going into the woods, uh, right behind first place and then uh, we got about 200 yards into the woods or something like that and uh as you guys saw we hit a tree we hit a tree hard so hit a tree very hard uh didn't throw me off the bike surprisingly but uh i hit the handlebars very hard and then as you guys saw the guy behind me hit me and then the guy behind him hit him so uh, we were all very close together right off the start and uh yeah just not a good day so um after that you guys saw me i uh stopped for a couple minutes at least because it it hurt really bad when i wrecked uh, hit my legs pretty hard uh hit the tank really hard with somewhere you don't want to hit so that was fun and then um yeah it just really knocked the wind out of me and uh hurt for a minute there and so i had to take a minute take a breath because man it was that was a a rough hit that's one of the harder crashes i've had in a long time so i uh, got back on the quad and i figured it's like okay let's get going so took back off and uh what i didn't know at the time was the quad had some damage to it and so i was trying to go quad seemed like it was handling like junk um and i couldn't figure out why and so i uh, was having some issues and uh just my body was already starting to hurt a little bit and so after two laps i just decided to call it because i was so far behind and i was uh in rough shape and what i didn't know was the quad was also in rough shape so i'm gonna turn the camera around here real quick and uh, show you what i mean by uh the quad was in rough shape so here's the quad in all of her glory and as you guys can see it's actually sitting on an angle right now so the quad's actually leaning this way and so it's not quite as uh apparent but as you guys can see that tire right there is higher than this tire right here and the frame has a nice twist in it on the front so i smacked this tire so hard on that tree that it twisted the frame like a pretzel as you guys can see here so i believe my a-arms are still good the a-arms still look to be good um as far as i can tell at the moment we'll just have to wait and see when we get them off but uh what it's looking like is uh we're gonna have to do a do a frame swap on the old girl on the old girl so i did have this frame gusseted there is a gusset plate as you guys can see on the bottom but I guess when you hit stuff hard enough, it uh, doesn't matter what kind of gusset you got on it. Uh, it's just not going to work. So We're already working on getting a frame. I think I got one lined up. Um, so hopefully we'll get that in this week. Uh, hopefully I'll have that by the time uh, you guys even um, see this video. Hopefully I'll have it already. And hopefully I'll have it powder coated too. Because you guys, have, at this point, you've already seen the announcement. We're doing powder coating here at 137 Motorsports. So... Um, That'll be fun as well. So hopefully I'll get the frame. We're going to get it gusseted once again. And then we shall uh, get it powder coated. And hopefully uh, I've got a long weekend this next weekend. Um, I'm going to be off on Friday and Monday. So hopefully I'll have plenty of time that I can make good headway and get most of this stuff swapped over to the new frame. And hopefully have this thing ready to go. Luckily though, the next round of Midwest, which is the next points race, um is in four weeks so i've got a full month basically to go ahead get this thing swapped over make sure it's good to go and uh, everything's ready to go for the next round so not the outcome we wanted for this weekend but i want to say a huge thanks um because i had a ton of people um you know making sure i was okay and everything and big thanks to uh jared gadbury um, he was the guy that rear-ended the guy behind me and he even stopped for a second in the video and said Hey, you good man, and I gave him a thumbs up and told him to go ahead and go on but yeah um, Yeah, a little bit of a rough day and uh, Yeah, big thanks to everybody who checked up on me uh, Messaged me stuff like that because I had several people say hey, I didn't see you out there what happened and then uh, after posting the video and everything to uh, several people 
um, commented and said, hope you're okay, glad you're okay, all that good stuff. So um, big thanks to everybody. Talked to a bunch of people before the race um, out at the racetrack too. So I've been meeting tons of new faces still. So uh, I really uh, do appreciate you guys coming out, watching the videos, uh, stopping by the race rig, saying hey, uh, stopping by on the the uh, start line, all that good stuff. And there's been a bunch of people uh, taking videos, sending videos to me. So thank you to everybody who sent me videos and that kind of stuff too. I really do appreciate it. So, uh, because uh, without you guys, I mean, there'd be no point in making these videos. So I really do appreciate it. So with that, we'll end it out. Hopefully uh, we'll have a more positive um, uh, race vlog come up here soon. Cause it seems like the last couple have not, uh, not been the best outcome, but that's part of racing, you know? You're not gonna have a bunch of good days. You're gonna have your good, you're gonna have your bad, and unfortunately, I've just had a little bit of a bad streak here lately. So, with that, I'll close out this video. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.